What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. And today, guys, I want to show you one of my favorite launchers, a really good productivity launcher that I'm using on my Galaxy Note 8. Uh, it's called Computer Launcher. So I'm going to go through this launcher and let y'all guys see what it's all about. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So one of my favorite launchers uh, in the App Store is Computer Launcher. And I'm gonna tell you that this is a different, unique launcher. Very fast, no bugs, no problems. Uh, let me go down and show y'all guys exactly what I'm talking about here. So download the app, of course. I already got the app already downloaded. And uh, here is my home screen. I mean, it is beautiful, very unique very functional minimalistic but it has a lot of features with this launcher uh, so let's get into it you know first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull a pin out and you still get all your s pin functionality so that's no problem but i'm gonna put the pin on the side here and i'm gonna use my custom pin i love this pin uh, so let's get out of here i want y'all guys to see some of this stuff here all right first thing when you look at the home screen it's only one home screen which is great uh, very minimalistic and you do have a theme store you can uh, change wallpapers and you can uh, change all kinds of stuff but i like the dark theme here now when you look at this this is almost like a windows 10 launcher uh, you do have your start button here at the bottom and when you click on that uh, you see all your apps uh, in alphabetical order which is nice I mean, it really reminds me of Windows 10, right? And all this stuff could be customized, which is great. Uh, if, so if you got the Metro style Windows 10 uh, on your PC, this is like home for you. Uh, again, everything in alphabetical order and look at the speed of it. Uh, no lag whatsoever right there. And uh, you got life at a glance, just like on Windows 10. And you could add apps here, your shortcuts there uh, and stuff like that. Some of the unique things that I like about this launcher is that here at the bottom, you do have uh, places where you can place two or three apps. You got your uh, uh, recent apps here. Okay. And uh, you can add three apps at the bottom, which is nice, along with your start screen. But here, if you click here, you have a little arrow and it kind of gives you some toggles there. Uh, you give you battery percentage, uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, all kinds of other information. Also, you got your time. And if you click here, it's Action Center. Oh, man, this is nice. So just like on Windows 10, uh, you do have Action Center. Here you can see all your text messages and your notifications. And you got a clear all button that you can clear all. And you, all your notifications are gone. And here at the bottom, what's so unique? Again, you got more features, more toggles. Again, just like Windows 10. I like that. Really, really nice. Now, let me show you some unique features that I like about this uh, app here. If you swipe right here, and you get widgets. All right? So you got all your widgets. You can add as many widgets as you want. You can scroll down and you get widgets. But on the Galaxy series of devices, you do have edge panels. So you do have your edge panel, which I like the edge panel because uh, with the new update, you can add folders, which I have my folder here. All right, so I got folders there and you can still use your edge panel, which is nice. But again, look at that. Swipe over there, you got widgets. Very functional, very functional uh, uh, launcher here. I like this very much so. All right, so let me go into some other stuff that I like here. And you do have your notification, all right? So you can still get your notification by swiping down. Now, you see here that say My PC. I like this. Again, remind me of a Windows 7 uh, slash Windows 10. And you see here, it's all broken down into C drive, D drive, which I do have a micro SD card in here. So I do have a D drive, look at that. And this is everything on my micro SD card. All right, movies, music, and stuff like that, right? Pictures, which is uh, DCIM, right? And uh, if I want to go to my C drive, and this is everything in my C drive, all my folders here in the C drive, which is nice. Very, very nice. And what's up, what I like about this is that even though I hit the home button here at the home button, it don't work. You have to actually hit the X. Oh my goodness, look at that. So I hit the X at the top and it works good and flawless. You have all your apps here. Now, if you 
hard press here, all right, and you get your theme store, colors, wallpaper, desk icons, you can add a widget, you can create a folder, and you have more apps. So let me let, show y'all guys the theme store of this app right here. And this is some new stuff that they just posted here. And the most popular stuff here, you got your default. Galaxy S9 wallpapers, uh, iOS 11 wallpapers, iPhone X wallpapers. These are themes and wallpapers that you can get, which is nice. Sci-fi and everything in between the sun. Look at that. And you got Windows 10. All right. And you can go to all and it's going to give you more themes to trick your phone out to make it look like your own, which is nice. Very nice. And as you can see, it is nice and fast, very fast and fluid. I like it. But I like this all dark theme with that uh, red stripe going up the top. So I like that. All the apps work very good, very well. Uh, some of the other functionality here, which I like. And when we go down to the start screen, and again, you got everything life at a glance. Uh, you can add apps. You can do everything here. Now, right here, the hamburger bar. If I hit that, it's going to give me more features, more functionality. You got start, search. Got my name here because that's the name of my phone. You got File Explorer already built in here. Look at that. And you have Settings, Power. So if I hit Settings, uh, this is going to give me the settings to the launcher. Look at that. One of the things that I do want to say about this launcher is about battery life. Right now, battery life is not greatly impacted. And uh, so I don't have any problems with battery life at this moment. Uh, I've been using it for a while now and uh, no problems with battery life to report right now with uh, using the computer launcher. All right, so one of the questions you might have is how do I get my apps to the home screen? So let me go to show you. All you got to do is hit the start menu and just say, for instance, I want to get my Amazon shopping right there. And I'm just going to hold and press it. All right. And you could do a few things here. You have a menu here. I could pin it to the start menu, which is this is my start menu. I could pin it to the task bar right here at the bottom. I could pin it to the task bar or I can create a shortcut right here. So once I create a shortcut, boom, it's on my home screen. Now, what if you want to get rid of an app, right? So again, just hold on to it. And now that's your grid. Right there, that's your grid. Now you can hit the little hamburger bar and it's going to pull up a menu. You can open it, you can remove it, you can uninstall it, and you can look at the properties. So you just remove it and it's gone. Again, let me show you guys the menu there. Look at that. And you can put all the apps you want here on your home screen. Nice and pretty, nice and easy. There you go. And that's it, guys. Computer launcher, right here. Easy computer solutions, guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. See you guys on the next video. Peace.